place. <laughs> Seriously. Need a new stadium. I don't know what to say. I know. Coach, if you can go ahead and just start off thoughts on the game. Well, just, um, you know, from Oklahoma State's perspective, um, I don't know that you could draw it up any better than the way it went. Um, I, I figured it was going to be close. Um, I, I'm, I've said this, I'm a real big fan of Missy and her staff, and they're doing the right things. That program is close. Um, and I knew it was going to be tough. I told them, I said, Oregon will have blood in their eyes, so you better be ready. Um, and we, we kind of, it felt good to score first, to be very honest. Um, and then I could tell in the first that Kelly's stuff was good. Um, and um, I didn't know it was going to be that good, uh, but it was incredible. Um, and then when you have kids like this going, I think, four for four, um, four RBIs um, in the biggest of moments, it's just um, a testament to this program, to the people who support us um, from our managers up. Um, it's a special place, and um, it's hard to explain. Have to kind of be here to see it. Um, but um, I'm just very grateful and thankful for all these guys, everybody inside our, our program, everyone from wh what, what we say, Team One, our first year here. Um, uh, it's just special, special people, and it's taken all of us to get here. So um, credit Oregon. Um, hats off to M Missy. Congratulations to them on an incredible year. They're just getting better and better in her time, and they'll be back, and they'll be tough, and, and um, uh, they were an awesome opponent. Um, this team is just um, in a different place right now, obviously playing well and um, fun to see. Kelly, a uh, two-part question. First, what did you notice about your stuff that, that was working? And second, there were reports that you were vomiting during the game? Um, well, I didn't have a great warm-up, actually, to begin with, and typically when you don't have a great warm-up, it kind of works out in the game, and I think that's just kind of what happened. Um, I just wanted to go out there and pound the zone, um, let my defense work behind me um, in the offense, you know, getting ahead early. It's always nice to when you have to pitch whenever you have a lead. And then I've been battling a sickness kind of all week. My throat's just been bothering me. Um, wasn't vomiting, but dry heaving, dry heaving a little bit, and I was all right. <laughs> Kenny, two weeks ago, we, we were in down in the city and had talked about you guys losing 11 of 13. Now you're headed to a, to a four straight World Series. Just <coughs> explain to me what that's like. Um, <sighs> if it feels crazy, um, but I didn't have any doubt, um, to be honest. I've never had doubt. Um, even, even during that streak, I didn't have doubt. I couldn't. I didn't. I don't have enough experience as a head coach to be able to. I wasn't able to pinpoint what was going wrong. I think I have a better feel of that now. Um, I, 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 I just. I wish I was 20 years in and I could have said, "Hey, we here's what it is. We got to get this fixed, right? Or we got to be able to talk about this and work through the way we were playing. We were playing not to lose instead of playing like we played. Um, playing like we played the last two weekends." Um, which is just attack and suffocate, and um, I think we play. I think we played air free this so far the postseason. Um, I don't know how many walks that we've had. The two things that we really talked through, but we go again here today. Eight strikeouts, no walks, um, and then our hitting, truthfully, has has been really good. That was nasty. Um, really good the whole year. Um, we just went through a stretch where we weren't driving in runs. We were getting on base. We just weren't driving in, in, in runs. We weren't finishing. Um, and so um, you, the season brings that. It brings peaks and valleys and potholes, and we've been in all of it. We've been muddied up. Uh, it feels pretty good to be going to number four. Kylie, or, uh, Kylie, could you both talk about, you know, sort of turning the tide? Did you guys sense you go to Broken Bow, um, obviously undefeated in the regional? Was there a moment – for each of you, and maybe it's different when you thought, hey, we're back to what we were, you know, the first two months of the season. Yeah, I would say for me, like, taking that trip to Broken Bow and just getting away from softball um, just helped my mentality, like, 
just to have fun um, with my teammates because now I didn't know when the last game would be. So just doing everything that I can to fight for another day with my teammates. Um, but yeah, I would just say Broken Bow just helped me um, clear my mind and reset for this postseason. runs of 47 right now. I mean, what does that mean to you? I mean, how are you able to just swing it at the plate? Um, yeah, so I didn't even know that uh, until just now. So I think just not even thinking about that stuff, just going up there, putting good swings on um, good pitches and letting the results happen regardless if it's a home run or not. So just going up there looking for good pitches, yeah. You had six home runs, I believe, last year. You're up to 13 now. What's been different for you at the plate this season? Um, confidence, uh, I would say just having a good relationship with my hitting coach. Um, and nothing really too mechanical, more of just being like on time for pitches, not necessarily swinging out the hand like I was last year and guessing a lot and just having a lot of confidence in myself, um, knowing that if I let the ball travel and put a good swing on it, good things will happen. Ellie, going into the seventh, did you know you had a perfect game on the line or were there any nerves? Were you calm? Can you walk through that moment there? Um, I knew, um, but I was just going to go out there and throw strikes, um, keep pounding the zone, keep the same game plan, and credit them. They, you know, put some put a good swing on the ball. So, um, but, yeah. Kenny and Kylie, in a perfect game scenario, what is a softball dugout like? Is it, you know, is everybody staying away from Kelly? Nobody go talk to her kind of thing? What's it, what's it like in there? I think you just don't mention it. <laughs> you don't really want to say it, jinx it. Um, but it's just the same. Just keep going about it like it's not really happening and then see what happens from there. Yeah, I, I didn't even – I don't know that I said five words the whole game to her. I just – I never re really do it. Just, she doesn't need a whole lot. If I felt like she needed stuff, I'd go talk to, to her. But she kind of is – I'm <clears throat> just shown that, that she just needs to, to be in her head space and just leave, leave – like leave her alone. Now, I was talking about it a bit with – our staff and some things we were making some changes and we thought about making some defensive changes and I was like we can't do this right now like I'm not taking that and then we got one out and I I leaned over to um v Vanessa I said I think John's crapping his pants just right now <laughs> um because I I mean for him and her that's a special thing like it's imagine in a super regional to be able to even being that opportun opportunity, but I was, I found myself a couple times kind of going through my book going, damn, my, we finished with 17 in a row last night and now we're up to 18 here today. It just, and 19, I guess we got to, I mean, it was, it was wild. Um, that's a good <laughs> offensive team. And, um, and to do that was just really cool. So not a whole lot of talk, but we knew it was going on. Kelly, when did you start to realize like, okay, it's, I'm, I'm having the kind of game that I should be having as a pitcher? Uh, I felt it early on. I knew my stuff was good today. Um, just my rise was on point. I kind of struggled with my drop early on, but I think it kind of made an in-game adjustment and kind of got it going a little bit. Did you throw a perfect game or a no-hitter? Uh, my college debut, I threw a perfect game, and then I've thrown a couple no-hitters too throughout my career here. In this postseason, you guys have let up three runs. Are you seeing anything different from the pitching staff, or is it just as simple as everything is clicking right now? Well, I mean, the only thing that I could say for them that they've done a little bit better job is just not the, not giving up the free passes. But we're playing catch. Um, we're scoring runs. Um, and Kelly's fought that her whole time here. Like, you know, it's like – I don't know if it's like a – subconscious thing um, for our hitters. You're like, okay, Kelly's going today. We can score one and it's over. And that's not what she wants. She wants nine runs. You know what I mean? So it's a, you know, it's a cakewalk. Well, we've been, we've been better offensively. We've scored more runs. Um, and and um, I think it probably gives – I think it's probably a new learning curve on them too, like knowing, okay, how do I handle this, stay focused and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool to go through, but, um, we, you know, we're – they have the best pitching coach in the country, and um, um, he's the best pitch caller in the country, without a doubt. And when they execute what he calls, it's crazy. And um, it's like a video game, to be honest. And um, and he's in control. Uh, if they can execute it very few times in his time with us, have I felt him or heard him say, that? that's on me. Like, I, I made a bad – I've heard it, but not a lot. He just – 
um, we do a really good job of that. I think she would agree. In your fourth consecutive Women's College World Series appearance, um, only one other team could do that in Super besides you guys. Um, so every team is different. So how does this one feel compared to those others as you stand on the edge of, of going to the series again? Who, for who's that? Yeah. I'll just tell you this, like I and I'll let them say, like I. It's crazy how a buddy of mine texts me and he goes, "Why does this feel like it's the first time we've done this? This was on Thursday," and I was like, "Because it's special and it's hard, and and it doesn't get any easier because you've been to more of them. It actually, I think, gets a little bit harder if you let it." feel like that and so um i'm just i was driving in here today and i was like man we could go to four in a row like that is wild um i never i mean i never took this job thinking like that and it wasn't like it wasn't part of what i want to do but it, it's out of my control in a lot of ways i just i just wanted i can rem remember coach holder hiring me and going I just want you to give these kids their best four years of their entire life. And that's what we've tried to do. I do. I'm not, it's not perfect always, but we try to do that. We try to give these guys plenty of off days. We try to do fun things, want them to be normal. I want them to celebrate and have fun. Um, and with all that, we're a little bit different than some teams, but it's worked f for us. Last year, you rode into the postseason the Big 12 tournament win. And Everything seemed to be trending in the right way. And then you had this adversity at the end of the regular season. Does that change how you guys feel about what you can do or how tough this team is? I don't know. I think kind of just released some pressure um, whenever we went to Broken Bow and then kind of had that turnaround and came out hot in regionals, just being able to continue and carry that on. Um, I believe we'll be in the same spot in OKC. Rachel came here having had a really good career, but she's never been to Oklahoma City. Just what does it mean to, to help her get there? I on the last out, I kind of watched her some. I, I just I think it's one of the coolest things. Um, it's really cool the the relationship on the, the the field and in the the clubhouse that Kylie and her have. I kind of see them. They kind of say some funny things back and forth that not a lot of people hear. It's kind of cool. Um, but I already knew she was running around pretty pumped and got to watch Rachel do, do, do that. It was just it was cool. Yesterday. She was not in a great spot. I, I was going inside to uh, get a fresh uh, fill in my canteen up, and um, I came as I was walking back inside. She was walking kicking in, and her eyes were a little watery. And I was like, "What's wrong?" And she's like, "I'm just I'm in a bad place." I'm like, "Stop it! Like we're we're kicking their butt. Like it's it's good. Like just chill out. Like just be you." And it just goes to show you, like. All of these kids have to go through this. They have to go through these moments to understand it's okay. Like, we just need you to be the best you. No more, no less. And um, and then to see her come out here today, it just, she's a pro. She's mature. She's having fun. I just told her, hey, you came here to have fun, right? Yeah. And then quit putting so much pressure on yourself. Just play this little game. It's just, we're just playing there. Act like there's nobody here. Like, just make it happen. So it's just cool to see that and to give her a big hug and all these kids a hug, to see their eyes. It's just it's moments I'll never forget. Kylie, you, uh, you flexed after the home run on the way <laughs> around third. <laughs> what, uh, what was it like in that moment to have the, the stadium going crazy and um, just, to, just to be in the arena in that moment? Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was crazy. Um, I love being able to play in our stadium because our fans are, they're amazing. And my dad usually flexes at me the next time I go out. So I just ended up doing that. I don't know. It just <laughs> happened. Like I said, I can't control my things sometimes. So <laughs> I don't know. It was just awesome uh, in the moment. Uh, I just love playing for my team and just getting these wins is awesome. Any other questions in the room before we go to Zoom? Kenny, you, uh, as soon as the out was called at, at home plate, you broke for the plate to ask for the review, I assume. Yeah. Um, could you talk, take us through what you saw that, that led you to <coughs> think that was the right thing? I was shocked that I didn't see the umpire's hand go out. I mean, she was standing right – it looked like she was standing right in front of home plate. So I walked to Hayden, um, and I said, hey, did you have a lane? She goes, I had nowhere to slide. 
Um, and I said, okay. So I just looked at uh, Chris and I said, hey, um, I want to review that. She goes, well, let me talk to to the uh, group. And I said, well, I don't need I don't need you to talk. I need you to just re, 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 review it. And they talked and and um, you know, she came back and said, hey, you saw it right, you know. And and they don't even they're not even making the uh, call. It's being done in uh, pit in in pit in Pittsburgh, but she said that it, it looked, I mean, she said it was an easy goal. Um, so she kind of, when she walked by, kind of winked. I was like, oh, crap, we're going to finally win a, uh, a deal. So I'll make sure when I rate the, uh, the replay, I'll say today was awesome. So um, uh, it was good. I mean, I just saw that, um, and it looked obvious, but sometimes things look obvious and they're, they're not. Um, there's a lot of fans right there at home plate that are pretty knowledgeable as well, and I can see, see them kind of d- doing the, the same thing. So uh, that's kind of what I saw. I think, Kyle, you talked about the fan atmosphere today, and you talked about it a lot yesterday. I guess just you joke, we joked about the stadium earlier, the new stadium, but with Super Regionals, this atmosphere, does that ever kind of come up in your head just with how great the fans already are and then maybe the potential of the new stadium coming through soon? Just where, where are you kind of at with that right now? I mean, it's not even really on my mind. To be, be honest, it's like so many things have to, to happen to get a new stadium. You know what I mean? Everybody gets excited because they put a, a drawing out. Um, and I, for a quick moment, I got like, oh, crap, it is going to happen. And then I went to sleep and I, I woke up and I said, well, I'm still fat and losing hair and we have no money raised. So, like, that's what it is. So you can't – I don't let it bother me. I don't even think about it. I'm more I'm more concerned about NIL to be able to continue to get the best players here. Period. That's what I'm concerned with because that's what I'm up against right down the uh, road. And um, the winning NIL, that's my concern. What I know is that if I can help this program keep winning, it'll force Chad to have to do something. That's all I know. And that's my only thing. I'm not mad. I don't go to bed at night upset. Um, I want to keep paying my staff um, to keep them here. Um, I want to keep getting the best players here. Um, and and we need to improve our stuff, but we can win right here. We've proven that. And they've done a dead OU for however long um, in that ballpark. Um, and. I, I, I'm not, I'm just not going to let the stadium stuff bo- bother me. I want to keep my staff. I want to keep adding the p- positions that we're adding to help us win. Um, and I want to keep giving, getting opportunities for kids like this to be a part of NIL um, and to um, help this program just keep getting better every year. Um, Kylie, Kelly, I believe every year you've been here, you've gone to the Women's College World Series. So just what has that meant to you to, you know, to be there once again? I just think it's special to be a part of such an amazing program. Um, they were doing really well b- even before I got here, so they kind of set the tone already, and then we were just able to impact this program and be able to, to take our teams to the World Series um, four times in a row, and it's been pretty awesome just to be there and um, extend our season out to OKC. Uh, I think you just have to be grateful for every single one. Um, it started with Team One and all those that came before us. Um, they worked hard to get us in this program in the right direction, so just being able to carry that on. You, you had told them right after the game that we'll have a couple of days off and we're going to another business trip. Talk, talk about that a little bit and in, in what business you have left in, in OKC. I mean, we're trying to win the last game. I mean, that's it. You know, we we talked about that a lot. We don't we don't have a lot of goals. We don't set a lot of goals. We just talk about winning the last game, pre- preparing to win the the the, uh, the last game. You got to win the first game, then you got to win the next game. But like that's what it is. And um, I want them to get a couple of days off. They deserve that. Watch all these other guys fight it out. Uh, but we'll get right back, get out of work on a holiday. Um, you know, it is what it is. And go down to OKC and get checked in and. Um, start enjoying that and and um, I mean I want them to enjoy that we have a lot of new faces new faces here that haven't that have no idea what it's like to walk down those steps and to walk out on that that field and to feel the crowd they have 
no clue. And um, it's still, I've got the goosebumps just thinking about it now. There's nothing like it. And once we can get them through that, then we can get back to, to being that, nor that norm normal team. But I want them to feel that it's okay. Like, it's okay. You should, you've earned that. So. Anything else in the room? All right, questions from Zoom? Yeah, I'll go uh, Eric Lopez in the circle. I got two questions. First, for the players, describe what it's like to play in that atmosphere that you just played. Not only the last two nights, but last week and how that could also help you, obviously, go into next week, especially for the new faces. I think being able to play in our stadium and have our fans um, behind our back and surrounded um, in our facilities is just awesome. Being able to take control over the atmosphere is just amazing, and they're always so great. They bring the rowdiness, and we love to have that there. Yeah, we do really oh, – we just do really great with what we have, I think. Our fans um, have our back the whole way, and they know that we're going to be good and we're going to play. And yeah. And then, uh, Coach, uh, I noticed on the broadcast they showed you putting your head down on the final out. You looked a little emotional. What went through your mind when that last out happened? And were you indeed a little emotional? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I was actually in a pretty bad place when we got the second out. Um, I don't, I don't know what came over me. I, I think it's just it, – it's probably been the hardest year on me personally. Just we made some tough changes this last year. It was really hard. It's – it's um, I don't know, it just kind of wears on you. Um, and, and those things are all only done to help our kids. And so I feel like I've shouldered that some and – um, it's, it's just, it's just been hard. It's the first year I felt criticism, um, in my time here. That's been a new experience. I'm usually a guy that people like, so I, I've, 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 you know, had to deal with, uh, with that. Um, so it's just learning. I mean, I'm just getting better. And so I did felt this rush of emotion as I was watching Kelly out there and I've known what she's been going through. I know how, I know what Kylie feels like after she feels like we feel like she got, completely snubbed in the big 12 um uh, uh awards um and it was just like okay we're we're about to show you um and we're gonna do it as a group and we're gonna rally behind her and behind her and we're gonna show you guys what this is all about and so and not you guys but you know what i'm saying just the public or whatever the opinions out there are so um i'm already an emotional guy but it just i think everything just tells you how hard it is to get back to OKC. It's hard. It's it's crazy, and and um, I love my job. There's no place I'd rather be. Um, and uh, like, like I've said a lot, I wish I got less credit, and I wish I and and, and I wish I got less blame. I, I don't want any of it. I want these guys to get all the the uh, accolades that they should because they're the ones out there playing and working and making this stuff happen. Anything else from Zoom? Thank you all very much. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Thank you.